So what have you been doing, Joan? I have made a hat. I've got a new great-granddaughter. Oh, what's oh. she called? Ellie. I have got a picture of her. Oh, please. Oh, she's lovely. She's lovely when yeah. she's asleep. Yes. Oh, they all but are. she's got a beautiful <laughs> pair of lungs. How do you start, Joan? Where do you start? With crochet, the important thing, I feel, is to get it round the fingers properly. That's what I think, anyway. I learned when I was about five, so I'm probably very old-fashioned. <laughs> Whoop! and I go round my finger, just a loop really, and gradually take my finger out. And that's all there is to it. That's See? a very large loop, Jen. It's a very large loop because I get my crochet hook and I put it through the very large loop and pull it up. So that's your first stitch, right? Yes. And then you start round your finger, over your fingers, Hold the bottom of the stitch and away you go. So you what hold stitch it is it you're doing? It's just a chain stitch. Under the hook, through the hoop. Hold that under there and while you're doing it, just slip the wool along your fingers. Otherwise you'll, it will go tight and it would be very difficult to do. Otherwise, it's quite simple. Now, this bit is the most fiddly bit. That comes through like you pulled mm -hmm. it through before. Hold this round again and pull it through the two. Right. So you're work Double working knit. back a long way you've discovered. I'm working back. I mean, during the war, I used to travel to work on a train and we always had Mm. In mm. our bags, a crochet mm. hook. We never wasted any time in those days. Now it's far off days. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, when you've done sort of quite a few rows, what happens next? You'd carry on until you've done it. That's 46 rows. That's 46 rows. Right. If you wanted to make the cap, just turn it like so that. So that's edge to edge, yeah. yes and stitch those two pieces. So that's the hat for Ellie. Well done, it's lovely. So now you can make a hat for your grand. Make sure that when you've finished your final creation, that you wash it in personal non-bio and comfort pure, because both these are dermatologically tested for baby's delicate skin.